Okay, so this week we're talking about the NIT tournament. I think, if I recall correctly, this was our first tournament of the season. We were four and one. And the day before the first game of the tournament started, uh, we actually had a meet a team meeting. And in that team meeting, Coach Griff explained to us that he won't be present for the tournament. He had a death in the family. He had to go attend to that, which was out of town. And he wasn't going to be able to uh, coach us or coach the team for the NIT tournament. NIT stands for Newman Invitational Tournament. It's a tournament that St. Olive always participates in, usually all the time. Uh, they try to do it every season. Um, but he indicated that since he couldn't be there, that Coach Barthay was going to be the head coach for the tournament. He wishes us the best. He hopes we get deep into the tournament. Maybe he'll be able to come back and see the finish. So uh, the team was actually excited. If you don't know the history of St. Aug, Coach Griff um, is was the head coach. And Coach Barthay coached the freshman team. And those two individuals actually have what seems to me two opposite coaching styles. Uh, to me, Coach Griff is more like a Pat Riley, very... Uh, I, they say cerebral, but uh, always is, is thinking of a plan, almost like chess. Um, Coach Barthay still has a plan set, but he kind of makes spur of the moment fly plays and you know things that you can do and things that would, um, I guess, make the game a little more fun. So the team was excited. Um, everybody on that team played for Coach Barthay except one player, I believe, our center, no, two players. Uh, one uh, wasn't there when he was a freshman, and the other one um, played JV his freshman year. Uh, but the team was still excited because they know since it's more free play, uh, it's probably going to be a greater attempt to dunk and not get taken out of the game. So... I remember the, the next night we go into uh, the Newman gym and uh, we find out that we're the number one seed. We don't play first, but we are the number one seed. And on their wall, there's a list of all the MVPs from the Newman Invitational Tournament. So we're looking, you know, those of us who haven't been to this gym, we're staring at the wall and we're saying, oh, that's so-and-so. He went to St. Aug and that's this one and we won that year and he went to St. Aug so we saw a couple of names that we recognized and uh, MVPs so they post them on the wall so coach Barthy <clears throat> basically gave us a pep talk before the first game he basically said you know let's have some fun let's go out there let's play some defense uh, he said let's show he made the, the trainers one of the trainers videotape because he wanted to show coach Griff some other looks that, that would work uh, with the team. So he said, you know, I'm going to give some of you guys that are on the bench, I'm going to give you some playing time. We get a good lead, you'll get more playing time. Uh, we play. I don't even remember the teams we played, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, we beat the first team, we beat the second team. The third team, if I'm not mistaken, was, uh, was actually Newman. And they had a point guard that was pretty tough. He was Pretty fast. He reminds you of, um, I don't know, if you can think of the fastest, bas fastest basketball player that you could think of, but not very tall. So I guess like a Allen Iverson, but didn't really have the same handles or whatever. But as far as fast and running with the ball, um, so that team started to give us some difficulty. But in the end, we beat that team and we make, make it to the championship game. The championship game was held that Saturday. It was a Saturday morning, and Coach Griff actually showed back up. So uh, he gave us the pregame speech. He basically said, you know, go out there and let's uh, bring home the trophy. He said, I'm not even going to interfere with any decisions that Coach uh, Barthe wants to make. He said, I'll just sit on the side and watch and let Coach Barthe, you know, coach the championship game. So I don't remember what team we played. Because I'm going to be real honest with you, that whole tournament was a blur. We were blowing teams away so easily. It wasn't really a team that stuck in my mind. I just remember a bunch of fast breaks, a bunch of dunks, and 
you know, go into the championship game. We win that game easily. It was the first tournament we won. The team was very excited. Big, huge trophy. I think uh, the MVP, if I'm not mistaken, probably was Hollis Price. Um, three of our our team members were named to the all tournament team. We had Eddie Green, Hollis Price, and Qantas White, and they were named to the all tournament team. So that was the Newman Name Invitational Tournament. Tune in next week, and we'll have the next episode of B Ball Championship Stories. My name is Damar Santiago, trainer for the 1999 championship team, and I'm out.